Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we get the page title, how we get the current URL, elements text, elements attribute, and elements CSS value. So these five points I will discuss. So I have opened one application. This is Facebook.com application, and on the top you can see there is a Facebook hyphen login or sign up right so if we want to retrieve the this value how we do in selenium web driver by using python let's see so i am going to create here get value dot py this is one python file so let me copy here initial code Now this code will launch the browser and navigate the URL facebook.com URL on the browser. Now why we need to verify the title? In some test cases we need to verify that we are on the current uh, correct page, our page is loaded and we have on the page. right? So we can also verify some text but one option we can also verify the page title. So how we get the page title? So we can directly call the driver dot title method. This will return a string value. So we can store in a variable like title text. Okay. And if we want to verify here, like we can use assert title equal to and our expected value is we can capture from here and this title is coming under the head and here you can see there is a title at HTML tag and the value is available here so copy this value and add here right so after capturing the titles by using the driver.title method we can verify we can assert so let me run now You can see the execution done and test is verified. Let me print this value so that you can see also the value on the console. Yeah, it's printed. Facebook hyphen login or sign up. Now next. Sometimes we need to verify the some value in the URL, right? Like suppose that if I click on the forget button, you will see here there are some values, right? Like suppose that we want to verify in the URL, there is a form login screen equal to zero or ARS equal to this value, right? If we want to verify any value, then we can use Okay, so let me first click here so that forget password URL will open. So I'm capturing the creating the going to create that locators. So let me create XPath by using text. Okay, so XPath is created. Driver dot find element by dot the x path so this is x path okay so there is a method driver dot current url it will return the current url of the application Okay, we can verify assert current URL. Okay, we can verify the value. Like suppose that this value we need to verify. 
we can put this value here in current url right also let me print here the value okay we need to perform the click i missed this so i'm calling here the click method okay now you can see this is passed and here we can also see the url current url of the application so what method we need to call to capture the current url so we can pass the driver dot current url so this method will return the current url of the application so let me move to the next next is the get text how we get the value how we get the text value like example suppose that we want to verify the facebook helps you connect and share this text is available on the page so in that case first we need to read that value that text from the application and then we can verify using the assertion with our expected value so suppose that i want to verify this text is available here not in that case first of all we will capture the you uh, locator of this element now i am suppose that this is s2 so i am going to use s2 tag tag so for that Call the driver dot find element by dot tag and tag name is h2 and then if we want to retrieve the text so there is a text method we can call this method return the text value but the text is available on the particular locator and text suppose that i am storing in a variable text value but in storing in one variable let me print first and then I am using here assert. So assert is basically this is the Python assertion message which will verify the values right with expected and actual. So this is my expected value. Was that? So text value equal equal to expected value, right? done you can see the value read from the application and print it here now using that dot text method of element we can read the value of from the application now let's next sometime we need to verify the values right like here you can see there is an email address or phone number password so this is not the text value this is not coming as a text this is coming as attribute so this is input tag you can see here which are related to email address or phone number input box so if you see here there is a placeholder and here is mentioned email address or phone number right so this text is basically visible on the screen now if i want to get any attribute of a element then how we do that like suppose that these are the attributes like text class name id all these are the attributes of input tag similar type placeholder is also an attribute area label is also an attribute suppose that we want to verify this placeholder value then how we do that so in that case we need to get the placeholder value okay how we will get so first of all let's create a locator of this input box so this is email i'm using as the id so driver dot find element by that id and here id is email okay then there is a method get attribute where 
we can pass the attribute which attribute value we want to get like here we want to get the value of placeholder so i will pass here placeholder okay this method get attribute method return the attribute value attribute value is a variable where i'm going to store okay so let me print this and then again going to use assert equal this is the value suppose that done okay so what method we need to use to get the attribute of the element this is the element we need to call the get attribute method where we will pass the attribute value uh, attribute name and it return the attribute value let me run done and here you can see the attribute value printed so any attribute value if you need in our test cases so we will call the get attribute method okay like suppose that here if we want to get the link of the forget password button right so there is a href this is also attribute if we want to link up the this complete link so in that case we can use element first like i, I will call driver dot find element by that i'm going to use here let's suppose that link text so this is the link text and then i will call dot get attribute method and here i i need to uh, get the suppose that href value so I, this is the href as attribute pass this here okay this is equal let me print this okay printed here so if i will run you will see the forget password link will available here yeah you can see it's get the links and printed here next how we get the css element css value so let's first understand what is the css value and then why we need css value to read so basically css value will helps to decorate the application developer are using css value a designer are using css value to direct decorate the applications to give the like font size font family colors background colors its size right alignment all those developers and designer they are setting up by using the css selectors and suppose that if we want to verify this text font size then how we do that or suppose that here is a forget button we want to make sure this is it what is the font size so suppose that there is some given font size we need to verify its font finds font size is equivalent to that one so in that case we can get and verify the font size also i selected here left right side you can see css values are coming like color is, is the blue font size is 14 fix, pixel font weight equal to 500 cursor point text decoration and none so these are the css values which are applied on this particular button links okay now if i want to verify suppose that what is the font size of this element then how we do that so first of all we need to capture the locator of element like here i am going to capture the locators web element of the forget password then we have method value of css property so selenium provides a method value of the css property where we can pass the css name so here the css name is basically suppose that this is font size i am going to check the font size 
paste here and this will return the value in text format so i am going to use font size equal to this so let's print this and you will see the value running the test okay let's see 14 pixel so this 14 pixel is the font size okay so here are some methods right what we discuss here so if we want to get the title of the page so there is a driver dot title it will return us the title and we can store in variable and verify with our expected value for similar type for the current url so there is a method driver dot current url it's written a string of the current url and we can use and verify if we want to get the text so there is a dot text method similar type for the get attribute method we have to read the attribute value and we have for value of css property to get the css property of that particular element thanks for watching the video and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel click on the bell icon so that you can get the latest notification of the videos and share this tutorial to your friends colleagues so also they can get benefit